Hey everyone, it's Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. And I went to my local comic book shop. And uh, we all know that I've been complaining about Beast Wars. And yet, it persists. Why? Honestly, I kind of forgot to take it off my pull list. I really want to like it, but uh, I, I have them. They're still on my pull list, so what I've got... There we go. Issues 5, 6, 7, and 8 <laughs> uh, in a row. So i got to read these. I have to say, though, this cover art not great this cover art not so great and then it starts to get better and i don't know if this is a different artist necessarily kind of looks like it maybe not uh but look at that this is not a variant cover this is supposed to be it says cover a yeah cover a so uh nobody's watching my videos over there at idw or listening but this makes me so much more happy to have better looking covers on comic books even if you're not really happy about the story at the least you have the book and you want a nice cover to look at so um yeah i gotta say i actually appreciate a good looking cover uh even when the content is not necessarily great uh so i will read those though and we'll see maybe that they're maybe they're working on the content too look at this godzilla rivals versus mothra what i like about this as a format uh again with the idw books i swear idw is not my favorite publisher but it just seems like when i go to the comic book shop and i want mainstream stuff uh i'm just more interested in franchises that are not you know general superhero fare um the superhero fare i've got tons of books to read and those are in uh other formats not anything new so new stuff it's like i just I don't know. These are what interests me the most. So I just saw this up on the shelves. To point out, this is a $7.99 cover price. Uh, now, if we compare that to The Last Ronin, which is $8.99, by the way, um, this, uh, to me, is getting closer to the format that comics ought to be in. Is this the same size? Okay, yeah, same size. So Last Ronin is a little bit bigger, making it awkward as far as bags and boards go. It's not that much bigger, though. A little bit bigger. Uh, this has got to be a thicker book for this one-shot. I'd have to count the pages, but $7.99 for a one-shot uh, seems steep. Wanted to read about Godzilla versus Mothra, though. This is actually more the direction I'd like to see comic books going in the future. Having... Uh, worked and produced comics it, myself it's like it makes sense to me why comics cost the way that they do i uh, i think there are other ways to get cheaper comic books but if you're producing brand new stuff i don't know i i think that this is actually the new norm so what can you do make it the book a little bit thicker um is the does this justify a 7.99 price tag probably not but i do like that it's a one shot so it's like a one and done uh, kind of deal and my understanding is they have more of these so from a format perspective i actually kind of like this i wouldn't mind doing some kind of book I, i'm just thinking off the cuff here but let's say i did dracula like this where you could grab any single dracula book and they're all a self-contained story about dracula and uh some of his victims or whatever's going on but it's not a continuing through story they really are truly independent of one another uh that might be a, actually a good story that you could do that with uh, and i think probably godzilla would be a pretty good format for that as well but i do like that because you don't have to collect anything you can just go grab one off the shelf and you got a book there so price tags a little uh frightening though last ronin what are we at now number five i think oh issue four is that it Okay, I guess we're on issue four. <laughs> In my brain, we read another one. Uh, this is probably the most interesting series that is out uh, that I have read and that I've been hearing people, you know, granted, I'm, again, I'm not reading a ton of new stuff coming out, but this has got a lot of people's attention. People are interested in it. And uh, I've seen just the most chatter about this online. And so what did they do here that has people's interest? They have a creative team that people care about. They're doing something different. It's notable. Uh, is it a bit of a gimmick? Maybe. Uh, but it's still also the most interesting thing that it seems to be happening. Uh, which is kind of sad because this, 
really isn't that big of a of a deal. It's funny though because I talked to same store and everything, and um, talked to the owner and asked him about Ninja Turtles because I was like, "You guys don't have any uh, Ninja Turtles," and he said, "Yeah, that's right, we don't because they stopped selling." The series was completely dead as far as that comic book shop goes, and I'm sure that IDW saw the same thing, but they had to kind of keep it going. I don't know. The sales weren't good. So how is it that then they release a Ninja Turtle title and it does so well? That's because they're doing just another self-contained mini series essentially, uh, that's t taking a different look at the turtles. That might be a good route to go. Oh, excuse me. I bumped the camera. That might be a good route to go again, moving toward more of this kind of stuff where it's less of a commitment. Um, you're actually getting more readers in perhaps. Anyway, so those were my uh, polls book haul, my unexpectedly large book haul. Uh, again, it was only coming there planning on getting this one. The last Ronin ended up with all these, but that's pretty great, right? Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I I'm, I like comic books, and I think it's important that uh, we support comic creators, local comic shops, whatever you ought to do to support comics as a medium. I'm not going to tell you, like, you have to go to your local comic shop, but that, that's a route to do it. If you're buying comics online, that's fantastic. If you're supporting a creator, that's fantastic. Uh, regardless, I think uh, just, you know, support the medium. Anyway, thanks so much. See you in the next video. I'll probably do one on my computer next time. Uh, so, yeah, we'll try that format. Thanks, everyone. Bye.